G'day guys, Luke here from Australian Off-Road. Um, quite an exciting time today. So we've got our first Quantum Series 5 that we've um, actually produced and is ready for handover. So we thought, perfect opportunity to uh, give you a good overview, show you some of the latest features and um, what have evolved from the Series 4. Um, so we're going to do a general walk around and I will highlight these features as we go. So there's some awesome features that are being incorporated here. Um, so starting off up the front, um, we've got our aluminium nose cone. So we've in introduced quite a bit of aluminium into the trailer now, which will be incorporated in the Series 4s as well. Uh, main reasoning for this is weight reduction, to put it simply. So we want to try and reduce the weight in key areas. So obviously looking at this front nose cone, this is also going to pass over to ball weight. So this is going to be a huge benefit in that aspect. Um, but we're also introducing aluminium cabinets, um, aluminium doors, which really hard to show you, but you can definitely notice the difference in weight when we do open them. Um, the carcasses inside will mean that because it's thinner material, we will also increase volume of storage. So the aluminium in, in general has a huge benefit to the trailer. Um, it was a bonus for the Series 5, but because we wanted to incorporate in that trailer in general and just make it a benefit for all quantum owners, it has been introduced across the board in terms of the, the pop tops. So aluminium nose cone, so you may notice slightly different appearance. Um, the firewood rack is now standard, so this is one that um, a lot of people have been waiting to see over the years. Um, very, very popular option. It has been standard in the Quantum Plus for the last 18 months, um, but we've now introduced it into the Quantum as well. So that's a little bonus there for anyone purchasing the Series 5. Um, the front end is going to be very similar in terms of the drawbar arrangement, the standard arc jockey wheel. Electronic stability control is still standard, which we can see the feature on the front here. Uh, macerator toilet is still going to be the standard, which is where we've got our drain outlets just up the front. Uh, two jerry cans on the front are standard. Diesel cabin heater is going to be standard, which we can see the 10 litre storage tank on the front. And um, we've got the stone mesh guard on the front, which a lot of people will be familiar with. Um, so that's been a design that's ran through a lot of the models and um, works wonders in terms of repelling stones down. Um, all that we've really changed over the years is we've actually made this um, less, let's say, as tight, uh, mainly to, for that impact, instead of it being more of a trampoline effect, it actually repels the stones down now. So it's more of an absorption, I would say, in terms of the way we've designed that. And um, just slowly moving around, we've still got the pole carrier hatch storage, which will be accessible from both sides. And um, we've got the external tap, uh, which always comes in handy if you're just traveling and you want to fill a bucket or wash your hands it saves you having to enter the trailer or fully open the external kitchen so that's always going to be there that's been a feature across the board uh, we've got our uh, drain point or dump point for the uh, macerator toilet so the one that we showed you up the front is going to be the pump outlet this is going to be your gravity drain outlet so this is straight off the bottom of the tank so these are all features that have really been on the quantum for quite a while now um, obviously the aluminium nose cone is one of them newer features that we've highlighted along with the firewood rack. Uh, one of the big, big bonuses, which has been something we've wanted to tweak over the last couple of years uh, and is a standout feature for the Series 5 is going to be the external kitchen. So just moving into this area, again, you're not really going to be able to see this on the film, but these are all aluminium doors now. So this again is where we've reduced a lot of weight in these compartment lids. Um, so just setting up your external kitchen, Big selling feature for the Quantum is that we've got a full external kitchen, which is really, really easy to use and um, also very easy to set up. So this area is going to be very familiar. It's not changed in appearance. Um, what we had for a lot of years in the Series 5, uh, sorry, in the Series 4 has worked. So we've kept that design in the Series 5. The main things that we're going to change are in this area. So just to cover what a lot of people are going to be familiar with, we've got plenty of storage in this area. We've got an 82 litre Evercool fridge freezer uh, with our new decals on the front, making it look nice and trick. And we've got storage slide across on this prep area. We then move in to the big changes. So straight away in this external kitchen, a lot of people are going to notice a difference in that We've got these little knobs that stick off the side. Now these come in so handy for just storing garbage bags, um, pans, we can hang pans off there. We can hang tea towels off there. Um, so great little feature. And it's these little things that have been brought up from customers over the years that we have incorporated into this. Uh, moving into one of the bigger changes, we've got the slide across prep bench. So where in the series four, this was a hinged swing over bench and it actually mounted off the body. This style of design is actually working self-supported off the kitchen. So we've got nothing mounting back to the body. We've got no chance of damaging fiberglass from people leaning on this. 
um, and it is designed to withstand a lot more weight, so a lot more user friendly. Um, we then roll into our new three burner stove and sink, which is all incorporated into one. So we've modernized this quite a bit. Um, really good feature, which a lot of people may not pick up on, is the sink has actually moved across to the right hand side, whereas previously it was on the left. This means that when we're washing up, we can actually wash up and pass the item straight over onto this prep area instead of having to pass them over the top of the stove. Um, also, one thing that I'd like to point out, which I think is really good, is that this is going to be a hell of a lot easier to clean than the previous design in that we can easily take these grill plates off and pass it all into the sink rather than having to try and get into them nooks and crannies, which was quite hard on the previous model. Um, so, yeah, great, great features there. You will then notice that we've now got two drawers above the external kitchen. Um, so these are now standard. So previously these were an option. Um, and actually these have been incorporated in with the aluminium as well. So not only have we reduced weight in incorporating these, um, but also we've actually in increased the storage, similar to what I touched on earlier in the internal storage. By going to the aluminium, the actual thickness of the material we use is a lot thinner than what it was previously, which in turn means that this is a usable drawer now. Whereas we always questioned in that earlier model whether the drawer actually did much for you because you just lost so much in the volume of the material, the runners. Um, you can see that we've got racks in here that you can actually take out. So you can choose whether you want them in there or not. You can tailor them around different items that you're putting in there in terms of the depth that you want. So they're gonna be now standard in the series five. Um, we've got a new sink drain style on the rear of this. So the main thing I'm going to outline on this is this has now got a cam lock fitting where we can actually attach a hose on and run that off. So if we are staying in a park or somewhere like that, a caravan park, or we're just staying somewhere where we don't want to have to drain into a bucket, we can actually attach a lead onto there, run that off into maybe into a, an outlet or somewhere along that lines and actually drain it off naturally that way rather than having to work into a bucket and then get rid of it from there. So it's these little things that have made a big difference and these little things that we've obviously taken on board over the years. Uh, we've got the nice big drawer underneath, so this has increased in size quite considerably. Um, so storage is always one of them big things. Um, and obviously in this area, the storage has always been pretty good, but having these drawers and this bigger drawer now is just going to mean it's more user friendly again, which has always been the goal. So nice big storage there. Uh, really, that's going to cover most of your changes on the external kitchen, but you will see, obviously, between the, the new Fetford design of the incorporated three burner stove and sink, the slide across bench, the bigger drawer, the external drawers that we've incorporated, um, really good changes to the Series 5 that are just making this design, obviously, more user friendly, more storage and just more functional, especially this area being that it slides across rather than hinged. Um, and a little thing that I will outline on the series four is the hinge. We used to get a lot of people that wouldn't lock the kitchen out and they'd actually bring this bench over and scratch the window. This design just eliminates that altogether. So again, little running improvements that we've incorporated. Um, the power points in terms of this area for the external kitchen are still gonna be the same standard points that we've always had. So external 240 outlet, 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and a TV connection point. So they're gonna be your standards. So just packing the kitchen away now, just so we can move on to some of the other features. So obviously touching on that external kitchen again, the, the design in general of the quantum is that gonna be that this is designed for quick and ease. So for people that do do a lot of overnighters, um, this is not a chore bringing this out. You can easily do it. You've got plenty of coverage underneath your awning. So really, really good design. So external kitchens patch away. We haven't touched on the pantry as yet, but this obviously is just giving you additional storage in this area as well. Um, so for me, this is really handy for tins, um, Tupperware containers, cereal boxes, sauce bottles. You can pack them all away in there. Obviously, if the weather's not great, you can just close this down and they're not on show in terms of the heat or if you've got insects or bugs around this area, again, you can easily close that down. So another, another little feature, which again, only small but makes a big difference is this strip light now in this area we can actually switch it over to a bug repellent so we can turn this to amber wearers we could do that in the original design but you couldn't do it separately you had to work them both at the same time whereas we can leave this one on as let's say a straight led now and actually have this one separate on the bug repellent light so again being that this is going to be an area that's probably going to attract bugs um, for food and things like that that could be a little key feature there that could help that scenario So just moving on down the side. So we're still working down this passenger side. I'm just gonna close this door just to show you one of the other features we've incorporated. 
Um, so the nice little trim that runs across the bottom um, gives it that really tough, rugged look. Um, but there is a few more benefits behind that. So a lot of the benefits are actually from an engineering perspective and our production cycle. Um, but the main features of this is that it's going to, one, give us stronger bonding. So when we come to stand them panels together, we've actually got an extrusion that sits on the inside and we actually fix this through into that. So it sandwiches that panel nicely, giving us a really good bond in terms of dust sealing. So that's always number one priority. Um, but it also has a lot of strength into that bottom structural point. Um, also, obviously on that departure angle where this feature runs up and into that top corner, that is going to be an area that is going to cop a lot of uh, damage or potential rubbing up against things. So having that protective trim rum all the way through just means that we're basically protecting the body as much as we can from any harm or any damage from any of them things that could come its way. Um, it is also, some of you may recognize this, we actually incorporated this design on the Sierras um, moving close to two years back. And it's just worked so well for that trailer that we wanted to pass it through into this model as well now. So a good little innovation there that we've incorporated into this trailer. Um, the door, so the door is going to be very familiar. It's no change to what it's normally been. Obviously, this is a fiberglass door that we again designed in-house. Um, you've got the two-piece door where you've actually got a screen section that opens up separately to allow airflow to pass through. And this is a midgy screen. So again, this is going to stop any bugs from coming through. During the day when you're out here cooking, you can just cycle through. So this will just hinge on itself. So basically you could just leave that open to allow air to pass into the trailer during the day while you're still working outside. Uh, slowly moving round. So coming round to the back of the trailer. So another handy little feature here, which is gonna be part of the series five is the external shower fitting. So the external shower in general is always a popular feature. What we've done to change it and make it better for the customer is instead of having the two separate taps where we had a hot and a cold tap, we've now gone to the sleek fitting where we just actually plug the shower rows in and the shower rows had actually got a flick mixer on there. So that means that A, we're gonna be more water efficient. We're not having to incorporate cold and hot water to find that perfect temperature. We can just work it like a flick mixer at home. So we plug that in away we go so saving water but it also looks a lot neater it's not sticking out it's not hard to access so a good good little change there that again all benefits of the series five and um, this particular trailer so this customer has gone dual spare so you will see they've got one spare on there and then we've got the opening for the second spare as always is going to be options on that rear bar as to whether you want generator boxes um, extra jerry can holders so that's not going to change and um, we've still got the overnight leg, which you'd be familiar with again from the series four. Um, there will be aerials on the rear in terms of a radio aerial. And then if you were to plug a, an external TV uh, antenna or something along that lines in, that's your connection point as standard on the rear. Uh, drawing down to the driver's side. So this trim is going to be more highlighted down this side. So you can see that that flows nicely around the wheel arch all the way down. It actually transfers up the same design into the nose cone as well. So it all follows situ. Um, we've got the aluminium doors that we've touched on. So all three lockers down this side have gone to aluminium to reduce that weight again. Um, so you, I am going to knock on about that quite a bit in this video, but a lot of what we've tried to incorporate in this model is to reduce weight. Obviously, everything in this game is about making these trailers as light as possible to one, give you a functional payload, but to also make it manageable for tow vehicles. So the Quantum's always had a generous payload, but these little things are just making it even better. Um, in terms of water, so standards are going to be two 140. So we're going to have a 140 tank at the rear. We're going to have a 140 tank at the front. So all to do with weight distribution. Um, I have done a video previously on water tanks, really breaking that down and kind of the philosophy behind it. That is all going to be the same. So standard water tank options that we've always had, that'll run through. Um, we can see as pole carrier access down the front on the driver's side. So again, you've got access on both sides. Um, and then one that I do want to touch on here, which again is going to be a feature to the Series 5, is our new slimline tinted windows. So obviously they really blend in with this trailer being that it's all black. But when you see these on a normal Dove Grey trailer where we've got the lighter top surface, they really do stand out. So these will marry in with all the black trim that we've incorporated across the bottom, across the door frames. And um, the real benefits to those, these windows is A, they're tinted. So as we know, we're going to get heat reduction inside the trailer. Um, but also just a privacy aspect. When you're laid in bed, you get good views out. Uh, you can't really see too well inside. So for people, it just gives them that bit more comfortable feeling inside that people aren't looking in. Um, in terms of usage inside, which we're going to touch on when we get in there, no change. So you'll still have your, your pull-up blind. You'll still have your pull-down midgy screen. So all that stays the same. 
one little benefit that a lot of people don't realize with these windows is because they are slim line compared to how they protruded on the previous model um, there's a lot less chance of these getting scratched so again off-road ability we do understand that people are going to be taking these through the scrub there's going to be things scraping down the side just reducing these by i think it's around 10 mil that protrusion makes a big difference in how much damage they occur so some key features there we've touched on, on the outside the firewood rack is now standard we've got the tinted windows as standard We've got the external shower fitting as standard. Um, the no nose cone and the door compartments are all going to aluminium for that weight reduction. So there's some of the bigger changes on the outside. Obviously the external kitchen is one of the main, main benefits of the Series 5. Uh, we're now gonna take a bit of a detour around the front, go back into the inside, and we're gonna start having a look at some of the features in there. Alrighty, so we've just moved inside. So not so much is gonna stand out as changes in here. One of the changes which a lot of people may not pick um, but we think gives it quite a bit of a, of a modern feel is the headpiece now around that head of the bed is all segmented into separate panels so it gives it kind of a modern look especially with that vinyl that we use on the front but this is all tailored around that aluminium nose cone because we've got slightly different profiles and um, we incorporate different panel in there to seal it from the inside and um, but it does i think it gives it quite a modern look compared to how it was previously um, as standard we've got our two speakers up the head of the bed so that's still the same with the two lights um, one little handy feature that's been brought into the Series 5 is we've actually moved to a new stereo which is still CD friendly. Um, so although we had a lot of people over, over probably the last two years say that they don't use stereos as much, um, CD still seem to be quite popular for a lot of people. So we've purposely gone back to a stereo where it's still got that feature, it's still Bluetooth capable, it's still USB friendly. So it kind of ticks all the boxes for you. Um, so we'll touch on that in a second and we'll show you. This area in general stays the same. So we've still got the corner cabinet um, with our 240 points and 12 volt sockets. Uh, this particular customer has gone leather. So it's always nice to see the leather in the trailer. Um, color scheme wise, there is choices in here, but they've adopted the slate module color, as we call it, or the cabinetry. And then rolling into the alabaster at the rear vanity, which is a very popular choice in the Quantums. Um, another little feature that I do want to show you, which is part of the Series 5, so just moving into the actual electrics of the trailer. So just under this passenger side seat, we've got our electrical compartment where we've got a lot of circuit breakers, distribution boxes, all to do with the Red Arc system. But you'll see here we've got us two batteries. Now for those that are quite familiar with our trailers previously, uh, the 300 amp lithium, which is now standard, so that's upgraded from 200 to 300 as part of that Series 5 you would see that the size of the batteries are considerably smaller. So we've moved to the prismatic lithium, so slightly newer technology, um, but the real benefit of them again is gonna be weight reduction. So same as we've touched on with the aluminium changes, weight is gonna be a key feature. These new batteries actually save us roughly four to five kilos per battery. So big, big change, but the footprint themselves are actually shorter in height and the smaller. So it means for us in, in different models, when we start using these batteries across the board, we can actually fit more cells in a smaller space. So brilliant, brilliant feature. So we've gone from 200 to 300 as part of the series five. So that's going to be standard. We then can roll on into the shower area. So not so much of a change as in here, but just so we can see just an updated version of what the toilet would look like and how the shower cubicle looks. Um, obviously good comfortable space in there for, for such a compact trailer. You've got the macerator toilet as standard. We have introduced the options of composting toilets now. So for people that do want to lean that way, it definitely can be done. Um, as we said, that's our standard macerator. We've got the sink in the back corner. So nice and easy access from the shower cubicle if you just wanna wash your hands or brush your teeth on a night. So it comes in really handy. We've got this nice usable space off to the side where we've got as connection points. So as standard in here, we're gonna have a double USB socket. We're gonna have a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. And we're also gonna have 240 connection points with another TV connection point. So for some people now with a quantum being that it's all external living, this area may be used depending on battery systems and what inverter the customer goes with. You could have the option of running induction in here. Um, obviously the inductions use quite a bit of power. So in terms of incorporating a standard, we wouldn't really want to look at that option um, just because of the power draw. But for people just wanting to use it on the odd occasion when the weather's not great, when the, really the outside is not an option, that odd occasion, depending on battery systems and inverter sizes, you could just use a portal induction in here. 
Um, draws at the rear stay the same, so we've got the three deeper drawers at the back, so really this is going to be your soft storage. And um, we've got a stereo up here, which we touched on earlier. So this is the new stereo with the CD player um, back incorporated. It has Bluetooth features. It has USB capability. Um, it's also got quite a few media options as well. So for people that have a TV, let's say, without a DVD built in, you can actually build it in and play it through there. So good little features in the new stereo. And um, we've got the shoe storage underneath, which has been there for quite a while. Really, really good feature. Somewhere just out of the way to tuck them shoes. Um, and then one other thing that I do want to outline on Quantums, which most of our customers will be aware of now because we have touched base with uh, pretty much everyone in terms of this change. But because of gas regulations, we obviously have a gas hot water system in the trailer as standard. With gas regulation changes now, this means that we've got to have a vent in the ceiling and we've got to have a vent on the main door. So this has been a vent style that we've done for many years between the, the Matrixes, the Auroras, any, basically any trailer that has internal cooking. Um, so it's not new in our world, but it is new to a quantum. So there is the option now of going to a diesel hot water system. So the diesel hot water system means that we get rid of the gas inside, which means that we can eliminate vents in the ceiling, in the roof. Um, main reasoning for people to do that may be around height. Obviously the quantum's got quite a low travel height, which in turn means it's got a low storage height. For some people, storage can be an issue. So the overall height difference would be give or take around about 60 mil with that vent on there, 60 to 80 mil. So obviously for some people that look at diesel, they'll reduce that height back and turn, take 60 to 80 mil out of the trailer, which may mean the difference between storing it on site or storing it off site. So you will see down here, we'll just give you a bit of a, a shot on there that you'll see on the front fascia of this seat module that we've got a grill outlet here and we've got a little controller down to the side. So what these two features are is this particular customer has gone with a diesel combination hot water system. So what, what I mean by a combination is we've taken out the diesel cabin heater, we've taken out the gas hot water system. This hot water system now has the ability of a heater built off, which will be the outlet just here. And then this little controller here, we can actually control the temperature and the fan speed with this. So these are quite new in our world, but they are good little features. Uh, and for some people, they've, they've come from a diesel background if they've used them in a trailer previously. So they are things that now we're incorporating um, and can be done in quantums for people that want it. So that shows you that feature. Um, realistically, guys, that covers most of the quantums. Um, so this obviously is the Series 5, highlighting them big changes. The only one that we haven't seen, which is a real, real bonus, is going to be slimline solar. So on the roof, we've gone from 300 watts in the glass style panels, the monocrystalline. We've gone to the flexible slimline panels on the roof and gone up in capacity to 350 watts. So not only have you increased in capacity, but the slimline have, have reduced weight. So again, we keep saying this, but... Weight reduction is a big, big thing. So we've taken weight off the roof, which in turn makes it easier to lift the roof now through the manual lifters. Um, but it's also giving you that bigger capacity. Plus it's the newer technology. So we're trying to incorporate these newer features, which, which have been out there a little while, but we're always hesitant to introduce things when they're very new, just because we want to know that they work. So these panels have been a, a little bit in the making, but we're there now with them. And we've actually incorporated a new style core flow material between the panel and the top of the roof, which still allows air to flow through. So we're not bonding them straight to the fiberglass. We've actually got that core flow material between. Um, so these are the little things we've been working on. But as I say, this has all been a build up to get this series five. Um, so just as an overview, what we've captured in terms of the features, we've got the big change in the kitchen. We've got the slimline windows. We've got the firewood rack now as standard. We've got the external shower fitting. We've got the slimline solar in the increased capacity. We've got the 300 ounce of lithium as standard. And we've got the aluminium changes that have happened as well as that exoskeletal um, style design in terms of the body construction, the inner extrusion for that inner frame. So brilliant, brilliant features. Um, a lot of them have passed over either from other models or been things that we've been thinking about for a little while. And this has all stemmed us into this series five. So any questions at all guys, you know where we are. Uh, we hope you like it. We hope you like the tour. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs>